Today we're going to be playing some movement thanks to a couple of buffs in the balance council, mainly the Wong to Melina. So Melina <laughs> gained a power, now she's a 6 for 6. Reasonable-ish stat line now, now she doesn't die to everything under the sun. Remember she has 4 power? That was funny. But yeah, now maybe she lives a little bit. It is a little bit of investment to kill her, and we guys get some good value from her hopefully. But we're going to be playing a movement deck, we're going to go Golden Necker. Uh, I debated not going Golden Necker, but I figured we would just go Golden Necker this time. Because some people were requesting Golden Necker. Which is unusual. Usually people saying don't make Golden Necker decks, but we'll do one here. And let's get into it here. We're playing Gorilla Tactics. Pretty standard. Gorilla Tactics is a good leader for movement because it moves your guys. I don't think I've explained that one. And then I did anyway. <laughs> and we have a Crystal Skull. Let's protect, protect our early engines. Golden Necker, Royal Decree, pretty standard. Siri Nova. Unicorn Chironax. A uh, Unicorn Chironax, uh, a note on them, are our best short round plays. So if you think you're going to end up in a short round, we're going to have to want to keep uh, keep these in our hand, actually. We have our Geralt Quen. He's just good because we're playing Siri Nova at tutors for it, and then we're also playing a couple of the other Witchers, so he's actually a really nice tutor for the deck after his buff a little while ago. Then we're playing Wolfsbane. Um, the Wolfsbane and Tesha Mutna Sword are our removal options here. Those are 15 provisions. You can kind of do whatever you want with. And you can play Hen Gate Sword, which is pretty nice. If you want more round one, you can do Ring of Favor. These are kind of up to you, right? And then at six, you could do a six, like a Mastercrafted Spear for damage or something. Um, it's kind of up to you. I just really like Wolfsbane in combo with Gorilla Tactics. I've done this in my, I did this in my Prism. Uh, what's it called? It's the Prism, a Prism Pendant. Golden Necker deck too. It just Wolfsbane and a leader kills a unit, which targeted destruction. It less has shield or something, but targeted destruction is really good. So that's just a very nice thing you can do. The only problem with Wolfsbane is well it's not a problem with Wolfsbane itself. It's a Golden Necker issue. Sometimes you pull the Wolfsbane early off Golden Necker. What are you gonna do? Then we have Stiga Castle. It's our location for the Golden Necker. We also have um Megascopes. So we have a couple choices there. But the castle is really nice. You know, whatever Witcher you need at the moment. We have Brayhen. You use one of your leader charges to set him up most of the time. Usually, usually you end up using one with Wolfsbane. Unless Wolfsbane is just for a really good reset. You don't need the destruction. You use one on Brayhen. And the other ones are uh, pretty flexible. You do what you want with them. Probably protecting like a sentry or something is good. Then we have the Tesha Mutton as we mentioned. Just pretty good control card. Actually really nice card. I always like this card. It's pretty cool. Then we have the Frog Mating Season. This is our, outside of Unicorn Chironax, this is our best tempo card, which should tell you a lot about the deck. It's an engine deck. But yeah, this gives you so many points with the movement of all the frogs spawning the guys. It's really strong. Then we have Gaten. Uh, Gaten, you want to play with the Frog Mating Season because it spawns so many cards and you just move everything with him. You can move the frogs around. You can get some really insane points in a long round. Milva, same thing, if we're removing stuff. Ideally, you go like Milva in a round with Mating Season and Gaten. It gives you so many points. We have to win round one for that. But that's where like something like the Ring of Favor might come in handy. Then we have Melina and Triant Boar. Still love Triant Boar. And then we've got Melina to move the Triant Boar around. Just really fun overall to use her and the Boar. Then we have the Engine Package, the... Sentries, the Cat Witcher, Cat Witcher Mentors, the Matrons, and the Megascopes to make more Witchers or Sentries or whatever. And the Mentors, the Mentors are really interesting because they do get stuff when things appear in the row with Adrenaline. So if you're moving things around, you're getting more and more points off of them, which is pretty nice. So that's the deck. Nothing crazy. Just have to keep in mind we don't really have good short rounds outside of like carryover from like Siri and then maybe like Leaders and Unicorn Chironax. So we want to avoid short rounds. And uh, let's just see how this, just see how it works out. I tried a non Golden Necker version prior, which was really fun, and now we're going to do this one. So, should be pretty similar, although the short round's going to be weaker with this one. It's not personal. Imprisonment, more Nilfgaard. I've been recording a whole bunch of videos trying to not get only Nilfgaard decks, but apparently that's impossible. So, this might be another all Nilfgaard video. I hate making those, but it just happens. This is like the only faction people want to play. Let's 
Could be Shoop, I suppose. Could be Renfrey. Haven't seen enough Renfrey lately. Okay, that is a nice movement target if we have Molina, but we don't, and we can't get her either. So that's just gonna ping away at us for a long time. I wonder if it's worth getting rid of. If we don't get rid of it, it goes off, what, like four times? It's 12 damage. It's worth 22 points if we don't kill it. In a long round. That's worth killing. Hey, look, there she is. My favorite deck. My favorite thing. So we're getting locked in all of our engines, and we just died of rent free value. Cool. I don't see a way out of this. He's gonna have like four locks. Maybe two locks. Maybe he's not playing slave drivers anymore. There's another movement we can't do anything about. We can't lose round one. Losing round one's just GG. Nice. I think we go mating season. That's not enough points. Play Siri. We're gonna go uh, in round two. Nicker's trying to mess us up. This time, buddy. I think we have to all in round two. I don't see another way to beat this deck. There's just too much control and too much value. It's really the mix of control and tempo with the control that's a problem. I don't think we want this. Geralt's good. This is good, this is good, this is good. You know, if we get our golden necker, we could actually probably do something here. But we didn't. Um, let's think. Do we still go for this? Yeah, we do. Still go for this. Maybe with enough engines we can force out the Renfrey leader. That's the first lock. Um, let's see. We could go... I'm trying to think about what we want a Royal Decree. So we go Decree Milva... We have Gaten. We have mating season. So I think going for this makes sense. Okay, there's a problem. Well, it would be a problem if he played it range like he should have. We're gonna have to Chiron Axe the next one. I like to create Unicorn. We don't have to create. That's right. We already played it. We'll save this for round three. I Quite literally. Is that an issue? What are we getting off of you? We have Gaten in hand, so we're either getting a Catwitcher or a Mentor. Mentor, I think, is better. Question is, do we go Gaten next and play all range? Or we want to go Mating Season next, and then we play him melee. No 
a cat which removes melee, right? So we just do this to get the extra point. Play him on the left, so he moves with Gaten first. Gaten is a really... Oh, he's gonna get the Gaten. That's fine. It's like 5 damage. It's gonna trigger her too. So it could be worse. Judge me. It's not that bad, right? Because now we're not taking pings. We're gonna have to move this with our leader charge. But like, he gets a lot of value. Which is annoying. But uh, not much we can do about that, honestly. Next turn we do the Gaten. It'll be pretty big. He obviously has a Vilga Force for our mentor. And the more he clogs our row, the less we do. Okay, there's Renfri. There she is. The only good so is a dead mage. if we can make him use the Renfri leader, which is kind of what we're going for, we have Ooh, that's bad. I guess if he uses it, it's gone. Yeah, that's really bad. Kills all of our frogs. And he's got the passive for four. Nice. He played Rune Mage, so I guess. Whatever. Let's do this. We do have Unicorn Kyron X round three. That's something. It is something. You weren't expecting this, were you? I think we hold our one leader charge here. He will Vilga Forts us. That'll thin our deck, which will help us. And then we stick a castle. We want to use you. We want to do you first, then you, then something you can boost. So I guess we'll do. Alright, we're gonna get Vilga Forts for like 20 something here. Just pain. But we're passing. I need not spirits left to make you suffer like never before. This is our plan to all in here and go into round three, hopefully having forced out the Ren free. So our game plan's working. I'm just not sure we're gonna win. Okay, there's the Vilga Forts. Knew that was coming. It's meant in our deck for us though. That could have been a better card for us, but. At least we're not in a terrible situation round three. Where's the Geralt? That's what I want to know. Although Nilfgaard oftentimes doesn't actually play the Geralt. They have so much control otherwise. It's gonna go melee, right? Still let's go down another card though, I think. Why did he play that melee? It like denies points. Ah, this, this is not how this works, though. I guess it works like this. It's like three extras. Alright, we're good. We're good. We are good. We forced out an Artid, which we didn't know he was playing, in the Ren Free Order. Alright, we're in a decent spot. Just give me Unicorn and Golden Necker. They want to beat this deck. Thank you. That's our only artifact. That might be our only special. It is our only artifact and our only special. We draw into another Megascope, it's bricked. Okay, it wasn't, thankfully. We can do this. We can do this. 33% chance we hit the Unicorn. Yes. Okay, okay, the Roach play, sure, whatever. Uh, do we want to just play Melina? Yes, we do. I hate you. Curse you one. We want to stack up a Brayhen setup. Got one. 
Golden Necker now or not? The Megascopes are bricked unless we get Catwitcher. I think we do this now. We got the Catwitcher. Melee's right here. Are you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? We want to kill this. There's still two units on the melee row. Moving this was a bit suspicious. So we can Brayhen now. Just don't know if it's good enough, because we're going to Brayhen this. So we want to move this. So what we do is we move one of the other guys to do a ping. Move you. Play the Brayhen. Kill it. And the Catwitchers win us the game here. Thank goodness. I'm amazed we actually won that. It all, we had to go in that round two. Precision Strike. Let's see if it's Renfrey, because that still that deck is still pretty popular. Yeah, it is. So we lost the Eudora. I don't think anything else plays that. So we know we're going up against Renfrey. That's not good. I don't think we have a good matchup here. We want as many engines as possible, I think. I don't think... I guess this can kill something. We need to, just, we need to win round one here. If we go to round three, is Dex just too consistent and the Renfrey power just takes us out? He's gonna have a lot of control too. We might just open with leader on whatever we play next. Probably Matron. Leader, Matron. I think we leader these engines round one. We can't leader them all though. We don't want him precision striking. He might just go like precision strike soon though. Yeah. I imagine the Precision Strike comes down on that. Just to thin that deck and guarantee round one. Because they'll put them ahead so much. Like the tempo from this will put them ahead. And we won't have our engines going. And then he'll just go win round one. Just do his thing. Win uneven. That's my guess. Some kind of three damage from the hand. Precision Strike and we lose. But if he doesn't do that... And just lets us do our engines. We've got a chance. Okay. So I'm not sure why he's doing this. Could go boar just to develop another engine. Problem with boar is it doesn't get matron. Could go. Uh, I think we need our engine before we do that. Let's drop the cat witcher. Yeah, I work for the queen. And then just Better do it this way. Humans. Because Cabot should get plus two. Make a little tank here. Problem is going to be an Igni too, right? Because they're going to get a lot of tall guys. Well, I have seen some of them not playing Igni. Cutting it from the Renfrey nerfs. Which apparently weren't enough because Renfrey's still everywhere. Yeah, there's the three damage and now we're going to Precision Strike, right? It kills the Sentry. Yeah. And then he's ahead on even and we lose. Because I don't see how we come back from this. Oh, he's got one in his hand. I'm not sure how much that helps. I'm trying to think if there's a way here. He's got the armor gain. This could kill one of his guys. I think he's just give up here. Like, we're done with this round. It's not going to happen. This is the problem with the matchup. 
He's got so much tempo with the control, and then just Renfrey carries the game. We're going to need a full round here, like as long as possible. Round two to try to not lose the Renfrey. Um, his hand is something all right. We have every gold in our deck except for the good ones in this situation. We have no bronze engines. I don't think Wolfsbane does anything here. He's, oh, I guess it hits potentially a Great Oak. If he's playing it. No, I don't think this does much for us. Let's put that back. There's that, though. We go mainly this. Leader it, I think, for this round. Hey, there she is. Hasn't played a consistent a tutor card yet this game. Hazard. Naturally. He did play a thing out uh, two cards, though. So it's fairly likely he has it. Base power. So he has to be playing Great Oak. Otherwise, he'd never pick that, right? It's a Great Oak finisher with this. He's using the engine leader. Dwarven Agitator, we can at least ping with a Cat Witcher if you do, like, 50-50. Okay, he's gonna play, um... Not Agitator, Skirmisher, I meant, but this gives it the armor. So it doesn't do anything anymore. I think we, I think we play this over the Cat Witcher. And if he hits it, we can... Melee it. There's a lock. We don't have an unlock. This does put us ahead, which is very important. But he's going to keep getting like two points a turn from his passive, which is definitely a problem. Okay, well, he messed up. He lost a point there, but it's a run free deck, so you never expect him to play correctly. Uh, do we have to Unicorn? I think we do. I think we have to go Unicorn Kyronex. We can't win this round for Engines Die. We need to develop with tempo. Otherwise, we just die to a leader. Like, oak leader. We do have Brahen. But, um... Okay, there's the draw. There she is. Because now we have time to develop a Cat Witcher. Off of this, which is important. So it means we can use the Megascope here. It's a very low-value commitment, but it does get us a lot of value. If we just stay out of Geralt range, we might have something going on here. Agitator. Um, I think we hit this with the sword. I don't think we're getting more value out of the sword than that. Then we'll use Milena to move one of his guy range so we can ping each turn. Alright, if, if he's doing that though, we might just go Siri. Yeah, this is a good Siri turn. Let's grab her. Uh, this is playing to Igni. 22. No, we're good still. Oh no, they both move. Oh, I was just adding one of them. But we're fine because it goes to 9. We're still fine. I was thinking if we got plus 8 on that row, it wouldn't give us an Igni target, but it does. Alright, so now that we're here, he played something ranged like an idiot for us anyway. Love to see it. And then, what do we do with Melina? She 
She's the card we play. I think we want to alternate these. I think we want to do this. Now we can Igni the Siri, but I don't think he has it. We've got this, he has Oak. I don't think he can afford the Igni then. If he does Igni the Siri, we're still up. Okay, now we just need Golden Necker. Golden Necker can still do some work here. We're not in a terrible spot. But it could be better. Okay, we need Golden Necker here, guys. Let's, um... Let's grab it, please. Uh, I think we have Brayhen, and we... I think we put this back. Mm, no Necker, that's an uh, issue. We can't play Arcane Scroll, our Tome. I just thought we had enough consistency, we didn't need it. Apparently we're wrong about that. I think we... I was like, I think we moved that into her row. But we should have done it in his row for the plus three. It wouldn't have, it was still died though then. What? Do we, we just died a great oak. Alright, there's nothing we can do about it. Take this one. It gets easier, kid. Never enjoyable, but easier. No, there's no way to round the great oak. You just die to it, right? So. Still has that, too. clear how much I despise these Renfrey decks. A pleasure to bleed. Can we lose by like 25 points? Let's see it. We know it's there. Well, no, Geralt. Then why did you pick this leader? Doesn't make any sense. At least lose by 20. We need a Golden Necker, but didn't draw it. I'm not pronouncing that. But Toussaint Knights. Uh, if it's actually Toussaint Knights, we have two punishes. We have Wolfsbane and Brahan. So we'll see if it is. It could be Golden Necker Knights. Seen some of that too. It just means we just means we have to be really careful with these. No, it's just mill. Okay. Just mill. Of course he went first too, so we're forced to do that. I don't think I ever went first when I did the April Fool's Mill video. I think we went first one time and didn't have Stregobor. I don't have like, I don't know, like however many games we played. Okay, there's our other Tall Punish gone. Fantastic. At least we know he's not going to banish Golden Necker for a while, though. I want to get Tramp Boar going so we can potentially kill off Katori's Vigo guy, but I 
There's a the Kingslayer. Here's our chance. Goes Milva. Didn't want her anyway. Wonder if he's playing Black Blood like we did. An interesting nice. Does he just have every answer? I think we have to go mating season. No, we can't mating season yet because I won't trigger yet. Uh, let's go Cat Witcher. Are you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? No one can. I love how he hit three gold cards off of this, where he saw three golds. I just love that. Probably lose our mentor here. No. It's a good thing we kept our mentor, actually. Adrenaline four. So not quite yet. If he King Slayers again, and the th card he didn't see off of his Treyheron is like Golden Necker, I'm gonna be really mad. The only thing we're really scared of is Black Blood, right? For a punish, so I think we play her now. Cause he already Vilga Forged. Yeah, I worked. Better than humans. This should win us the round on even. We hope the Cat Witcher doesn't hit the Mentor, because the Mentor lives at so many more points. Never mind, the Mentor's dead. Although he could try and kill Sentry. He could try and hit Sentry, then either thing Cat Witcher hits is good, but doesn't spawn the token then. Okay, that's the safe play. Here goes the Stig at Castle. So here we have a couple choices. We can go mating season, even though it's not great. Uh, we can go decree, not decree. What's this thing called? Uh, Geralt into a Witcher. So we can grab our other mentor. And it'll come out with shield, which is actually pretty good. So I think we do that. I think we do this, even though it's a tutor. I usually don't want a tutor like this against. Um, Mill? I think we do it. Okay. I've got Siri carrying over, and we just all in round two, because it's Mill. What else do you do, right? Our deck thins a lot, which is a problem. Like, this thins a card. This thins a card, this thins three cards. We could also just not play Golden Necker. It depends if we draw it right away or not. Uh, I think this is actually a good card. I think I'd rather... I don't think Tesha Muttonosaur hits anything useful. That can get Chiron Axe. Do we just keep this hand? What are we redrawn to? I think we keep this hand and decree Chiron Axe when we can. We open like this, and then whatever. If he plays a unit, we decree Chiron Axe. I just don't think we play Golden Necker this game. I think we hope he mills it, honestly. Oh, or we could just go this. I think we just start doing this. Decree Kyronax also draws us a card, so we might want to just decree something else. Oh, we're playing Tibor, are we? That's fine. One Tibor is not a big deal. Of course, we do hope it starts hitting our Veil card. Do we have a way to kill her? Kyronax is just enemy units, right? 
Throw enemy units. Look at that. That's how you play mill. Just screw up your own Siri and kill it with Tibor. Sounds about right. Uh, we want to have. We do want one of you melee. We want something melee, but we don't have anything to move. After that play, we don't have to rush Sangrael anymore. Like that's the scary tempo play. I think we do the Kyron X then. We want to get some units melee for. Um... Uh, I don't like that card. So we can uh, baiting season. Okay, I mean, to be fair, we have exactly a unit, a special, and an artifact in our deck for the Golden Necker. So, I guess we just play it. It is all in here. I mean, what else, what else are we going to do? We have all of them. I don't care that much. We hit this one. Do you want Cat Witcher or Sentry? I think Sentry's more points. I think this is actually more points. Yeah, get out of here. Knee 100, Precision Strike. If this is another Renfrey deck, it's just going to be a video of Renfrey, Nilfgaard, and Renfrey. But nothing we can do about it. Yeah, it's, it's Renfrey. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is what the ladder is, even after the Renfrey nerfs. Just how it goes. I don't think we can win this matchup either, by the way. This card doesn't do anything for us. Not in this matchup, at least. We do want as many engines as possible. This doesn't do anything for us either. Like, maybe it kills... a. Uh, what's his name? A uh, Zoltan. But if he plays the Zoltan, we're losing the round anyway. I think we have to go in with Milva just right away. He's gonna play at melee. Why would you do that? Oh, well, you don't have access to Kyranax, so it's fine. You can't kill it. Doesn't make sense. It's just like super greedy. I have to play Milva. Then go Matron into four, maybe. Blood, blood. One more feather, and we're done. This is definitely dying. It's like a uh, skirmisher, I think. Not definitely, but it's like 90% dead to a skirmisher and a leader ping. Okay, nice. He's going to do a setup. That's good for us. That's really good for us. Of course he had it. They always have it. Now we can go in with boar. We don't want to zeal the boar. I actually think the right card here is to, to play his Megascope. As we open us, ourselves up to Zoltan Warrior, otherwise, and then he like double hits us, and we lose the Milva. I think. I think we lose the Milva then. Now we do want to start engining again. Do you want to try and kill that? Those two are going, so now we don't get blown out as hard by Zoltan Warrior. We still get blown out because the leader charges with it, kills off so much stuff. Oh nice, just a Deregere. That's... Not even that good of a card for him to lock. Yep, now we have to do the leaders. 
fine, whatever. We're going to have to go down a lot here. I think we need to stick a castle. We're going to need the extra points from the movement and Nova. I guess he didn't want us killing this, but this point doesn't matter. I guess it denies a point a lot of times on Cat Witchers. I guess. Got a good setup for Cat Witcher Mentor, though. That's nice. Like we can go mentor. If you're gonna fall, then go move this. This this then this will trigger, move it over there. Then we can go cat witcher again. Geralt is a problem. So we have to alternate the Cat Witchers. There's an Oak. Alright, we're down 30 points. Can we come back from 30? I don't think so. Like at most, this is worth 12. So that's that's going to be this round over. Nothing we can do about it. But he did have to play the Great Oak. And then, like, 10 Bronze cards. So, I guess 6 Bronze cards, Oak, and... 5 Bronze is... Oak and this, I guess, whatever. He got all of his thinning off, which is all that matters for him. His deck's, like, perfectly consistent now. Whereas we haven't found our cards we want yet. We still haven't. I did kind of think we had enough consistency without Arcane Tome, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe we were wrong. We've got a Siri. That's got to count for something. The thing is, Purify hurts a lot. I think we still play Siri. Maybe we can get a card advantage. I mean, he's just probably Ren freezing us to destroy eight. Right? They always get it. And they want it. The only good mage is a dead mage. Thirty-three percent chance. That might not be exactly how the math works, but it's close enough. Based on how long it took, I don't think he got it. That's nice. We might try and draw into a Purify. So we do manage to have carryover. That's something. It's probably worth playing Geralt this round just to thin the deck. The question is what do we thin for? It's probably Cat Witcher. Let me play this cat with your first. So he draws curse. He gets curse scroll and a thing, and then six damage. He could kill. Well, he could clean our board up. He's gonna go for the board clear. All right. As we die to Zoltan Warrior, like just straight up lose the game to him. We don't have Golden Necker, so it's just too many points. We 
We have to go Kyranax. It has to be Kyranax. We have to stop this. It's really helping to draw the Golden Necker there. He might take the pass here. But who are we kidding? No, he won't. The Catwitcher gets a shield now, so that's what we do next. Geralt Catwitcher and then play Sentry. I don't see where we're getting value off of Wolfsbane. Okay, here comes his. I think we do this. So she's not a random ping. Maybe we can do this. Doesn't have a passive going on from Renfrey. But it's so many points. We'll be out of Geralt range though, so maybe because of that we can. We're gonna play Catwitcher, right? Maybe it wasn't Catwitcher. No, I think it's this guy. Maybe we just take this out. You fight me, or you watch her die. Catwitcher only triggers twice. It's worth more if we do that. Plus, well, he got so many random armor around. Okay. So. Let's see, we've got 13 points to catch up. No matter what, we're doing this. Now we're down eight. This play is for six. We have to leader. Right, we have to play a leader charge here. Question is, would we rather hold Wolfsbane or hold Melina? I think I'd rather hold Melina. Gives us four. Maybe if we get Golden Necker, we can do this. We do have to get it though. I think the, I think Arcane Tome probably has to go in the deck. Don't really want this. Takes too long to come online. Need to find this and this work. No necker. That, that stinks. I hate you. Curse you swine. We have this into Gaten, so this. This Gaten. Hopefully it's good enough. Yep, there he is. Waiting for you. If we Gaten now, we deny its order. Is that worth it, though? Probably not. Well, then we can't target with this. We can't target the second. Look at this. We can target, we just don't get the vitality. Yeah, so we do this. Maybe we do. Well, we shouldn't have moved her. Right? Because now we get less points on Gaten. Oh, we can move the frogs first, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. Oh, it's no longer fine. Well, actually, we can keep that alive, thanks to the vitality. Probably keep it alive. I 
I don't think he's got much left other than maybe a Geralt, which is not going to trigger. Actually, it will if we move everything to one row. We'll hit Siri. Is the Gaten even worth it? Right, because he has six armor on that row. I think it's more important to avoid a Geralt than anything else at this point. But if it's regular Geralt, he's still hitting Siri Nova. Yeah, it's probably just regular Geralt anyway, not Igni. Uh, we want to move everything from the melee row. We actually did get some damage in there. See if that's good enough. It's just regular Geralt, so yeah, it wasn't Igni. But, we still win. Alright, we'll take it. The end of the- I'm not playing any more games. There's just too much ran free. So that's the deck, guys. What do I think? How was it? I really enjoy playing movement. I enjoy Golden Necker and Northern Golden Necker. The only thing is, I thought we had enough consistency without Arcane Tome. And the answer is no, we don't. <laughs> we definitely need the Arcane Tome. We, like, never draw it. At least not at the opportune moments, right? Because we have, what, one thinning here. This thins. This thins. Go. What's that? One, two tutors and a thin, but we don't tutor further. I think I think Arcane Tome does have to go back in. I was just kind of didn't, was hoping we could get away with, get away without it. And we take out Tasha Mutna Sword. And then we have to cut the Wolfsbane to a nine, I guess, or something else up. Like these, the problem is the bronzes you can't really change. Like you really need like two of all these. You got maybe Mentor. You can like make Mentor another six. But um, I, I guess like a, either a lock, a lock would be good, or you can go in the uh, Mastercrafted Spear. Those are both good options. So yeah, one of those two. I think that's the proper thing to do here. But um, we'll just share the deck we played. Anyway, as far as how it went, it's pretty good. You have to remember that the short round kind of doesn't exist outside of Unicorn, Kyronax, and Golden Necker. I had some issues when I first started playing the deck because I didn't play that. Sometimes I try to do short rounds, so you just can't. But uh, it is a pretty fun deck. It's got good long rounds. We've got really good engines here. And Milva being immune is really nice. I like Milva as a card. She's very cool. But other than her, I think the deck's pretty good. I really do like the, the Geralt Quine in inclusion. Big fan of. We definitely keep that. Yeah, the only thing I'm, like I said in the beginning, look, I think it says in the intro, right? This Wolfsbane spot and this Tesha Mutton of Sword spot are flexible. I think one has to be Arcane Tome. Right, so I think we take out. We gain a provision by doing this, and then the wolf spin you can keep or take out at your discretion. But you could put a nine in if you take out and put in um, what did I just say it was called, the uh, arcane tome. You put a nine in, like Roach wouldn't be bad. Maybe Roach should be in here. It's not thinning. But yeah, there's like a bunch of choices. But the deck uh, overall, other than those two slots, the deck's going to be basically exactly the same because these are cards you play in movement, and it's pretty fun. It worked out pretty well. It took some games. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Not sure what I'll do in the next video. Might even spice it up and do one of the old card uh, analysis videos. But we'll see. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you next time. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.